hello and welcome to the channel in today's video we are going to learn how to add padding to UI text field programmatically so it, UI text field let us open up simulator and here you can see that here the text starts from very beginning of the line and whereas in the default round red text field the text has some padding so there is a padding here right here but not in this text fields so we have four different type of styles in the text field that is one is round rect so this is the default round rect style and then the visual the visual also gives padding by default and one is the line so this is the line style and and other one is none so there is no border so you can give it to yourself so the line and the bo uh, none have no padding given so in those cases how we can give padding we will learn in this video so let's start create a single view application template project by opening up your Xcode I already created one for myself and you can create one for yourself right now so let's create the UI so here we have main dot storyboard and in view controllers view we will first change the background color to yellow and then we will drag a UI text field so here we will give it a constant of 24 and 100 and also a 24 and height of 50 pixels so here so this is the round X style you can see it here this is the round X border style it's by default now again I will drag another text field here and give it 15 pixels and height will be 50 okay and also I will give it the same by using control key and left tap of my trackpad and begins it to the round red text field and then drop it here I will see the constraint so I will press command and set the leading and trailing constraint of my second text will same to the round red style so here I added it and now I will change it to the style to weasel so here you can see the style changed now again one more or rather than it's drag and drop let's copy this it's very easy and copy it and paste it and now same using control and left tab of your trackpad and here we'll say Leading trailing add constants and also the top we will give it 15 pixels to here it is and now we will change its styles to the line style so here you can see the styles are changed it's the round style the bezel style the line style and now lastly the non styles so here we will say leading trailing and equal height add the constraints and also the vertical spacing will be equals to 15 and here it is now lastly we'll change this text field from raw style to the border style none so we will give it a background color because it's it will not visible if we didn't give background color so here we give it a background color like this or you can say white color is also oops it's views background color gets changed sorry command z undo and select the text field and here i will change the background color here from this to white so here now so now let's see what's the difference of padding so i will run the app right now so the app is running on iPhone 10 simulator it's compiling and it's building so here the iPhone 10 simulator launch so here the first the round rect so we'll say round border here we get visual border so now here you can see there is a distance between the border and the text so this is a padding but in the line style text field you will say the text is quite adjacent to the line and there is no padding and similarly where the border is none so no 
border on text field so here you can see the two styles have border uh, have padding sorry but the other two style that is the line style and now water style there is no padding so how we can give padding to it so in this video we are going to learn and let's start so for this we will create a custom class and here we will say new file and a cocoa touch class and here we will choose a UI text field and we will name is padding text field okay press next and create okay so here it is our class is there class padding text field let me make it bigger so that you can clearly see the code and here what we need to do we will need to do implement few methods so first we need required in it with coder okay super dot unit with coder uh, decoder so this is for the xib and now we need to do something uh, some changes as we need to override two methods the one method is that is the bounds for the text tract there are different methods of the text field so let us see when i jump to definition of here and here i will search text Rect. so here you can see drawing and positioning overrides so border rect text rect placeholder rect editing rect and left view rect right view rect so there are different methods we can override it. so for giving padding we will override this text rect and placeholder rect method and so let's start and overwrite those functions so here we say text rect and here we have one method here and other is placeholder rect so for the placeholder so here it is the two methods are there and now we will give it a padding so we will say here it it asks that it will return a cg rect so we will say return ui edge inset ui edge inset inset rect so here it is and here it says rect the rect we want to give and here we will say bounds that is bounds of our text field and then the what are the inserts we want to give one so here we say ui edge inset and here it is the top left bottom and right so we will give zero from the top and the left side we give 15 and similarly zero from the bottom and the right side the 15 okay so this is and similarly we will give the same rect to our placeholder and so we give the inset now we are we can use this and we will see the padding will be given to the class to the text field so here let's change the class from here of this text field we will go here and change the to padding text field okay and similarly for this and here we say padding text field and now let's run the app and we will see the padding will be given So here it is now let's type in no border but still no padding the padding is given as soon as it ends editing so what we know we need to implement one more method that is the editing rect that is the rect that is given to the text field when it starts editing so let's implement the same editing rect for bounds and similarly copy this and paste it here and now let's run the app again and
and now the app is running and now let's see the editing rect so here you can see there is a 15 pixels padding is given so here you can see you can change the padding let's say we will change the padding to 5 pixels and 5 pixels and 5 pixels and now let's run the app again and you will see the only 5 pixel padding is given so here now let's run and here you can see the 5 pixel padding is given to the text field so here in this video you learn how to create a custom UI text field class number one and how to override the methods that is text rect placeholder rect and editing rect in order to give padding to your text field and lastly uh, you learn how to give padding to the text field where the border style is either line style or no border style so hope you like this video if you like this video then please give it a share and give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to our channel then please subscribe it as we are going to bring more videos on different aspects of the programming in iOS using Swift language and if you have any recommendation or any video you want to be made by us regarding your problem or regarding the area you want to learn then please let us know in our comment section and we will create a video on the same whenever we go some time and lastly thanks for watching this video have a nice channel have a nice time ahead bye for now